it is a hot hot summer day with temperatures over 100 but i am getting in the mood to decorate for fall so i decided to throw on my sweater over my dress because actually the air conditioning feels pretty cool inside so drinking my coffee before i get decorating and then unloading all my fall decor that i will be using for the season and honestly I probably won't actually use all of it I do have two places I decorate our guest cottage and my home and I just like to add some simple touches some faux pumpkins when real ones come I will use those some wheat stems I'll use some different um, vintage art pieces or that look vintage at least and just decorate with those and I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning today as well so you're kind of just gonna see what I did for decorating it will probably change by the time I share my full fall home tour it typically does because I end up changing it by September because it's still like I said just a hot summer day in August but getting some things done around the house with decorating for fall I feel like the dusting is never ending in this time of season. There's spiders, there's cobwebs, there's flies, there's everything, dust, lots of dust, and it's just needing to be done again. It is a weekly thing I do of dusting, but you know, while I'm redecorating, why not take a little Swiffer dust cloth and clean it up a bit? These wire hanging shelves I have on the wall are actually freezer baskets I learned, but I just nailed them to the wall and I love decorating with them for each season. And then rearranging my piano surface. So actually what you end up seeing here is different than what I think I ended up landing on for my official fall decor, but I like keeping it simple. This piano was my grandmother's and she gifted it to me after she passed. So um, I used to be a music teacher and I took piano lessons for 12 years. I don't play it like I should anymore. Um, just not the season, but I love having it in my home and it's a beautiful memory and a great place to add some decor. Like I said, it's really hot outside, so I've had the blinds closed, so the lighting here and there is not the best, but taking out my sun hat and swapping it with a scarf, which I ended up changing my mind, putting a basket, I put the scarf in our front, our small little front entry on one of the hooks there, but just making it super simple. If you know me, I like to keep it very simple, not minimal per se, but pretty simple. And then moving out my flowers. I still have some zinnias, snapdragons, cosmos for cut flowers that of course I'll still be putting around my home until it freezes or until they're no longer available because I just can't not have fresh cut flowers, especially right now when they're still in full bloom. It was time to do a little bit of taking care of my furniture. So I did some spot tr um, treatment on the couch. I also used my um, pilling machine. It's incredible. It works on furniture. It works on clothes. It's just a little electric pill remover. I'll link it in my Amazon shop for you if you're interested in that. Much easier than using a razor. And then these pillows are thrifted. So anyways, most of my decor is thrifted as most of you know. And I'm just not sure that they actually match my other checkered print pillows. Let me know. Um, I might need a third. I'm not sure. They're kind of a burnt orange color and I really like them, but I just not sure that they match the other colored pillows that I have there. So we'll see. It might change by the time my fall tour comes out too, which 
it possibly will. boy is kicking on the floor I'm doing a little more spot cleaning on this couch then removing the pills and adding this fun checkered pillow that you see on the floor right now to that um, chair it's just I don't like having a lot of pillows because they end up on the floor but I do like having a few throw pillows All right, this built-in, I put some contact slash wallpaper on the back and it really shows up purple on camera. Even sometimes just looking at it, it shows up purple. It is not. So it may be something I take out just because it always looks purple. Anyways, just adding a few fall touches here. I think those pinecone pumpkin stems are from Walmart for a dollar. I don't know if I like them there or not, but for now, that's where they're gonna be just super simple with the minimal touches some of the faux white pumpkins I have a small little crock just playing around with what I have and I didn't go and purchase anything new for my fall decor I'm just using what I have kitchen I really liked having these cutting that cutting board and the bowls there but I think I decided to swap it out with a pitcher a pitcher sorry that you'll see um, I never ended up actually using that cutting board so it wasn't real practical there anyways it was just more for aesthetics and this uh, pitcher really just looks fall-esque with some um, looks like wheat stems or dried flowers some wooden spoons a uh, crock and kettle it's just really really pretty there and then pulling out the stove to do a little deep cleaning on the sides where I've been canning a lot lately and so things have dribbled down the sides it's sticky I have melted my butter because I put the canner too close to it so that literally flowed down the sides so I need to clean the whole side of it clean the inside just really get it nicer I'll still be canning some more, but I thought while I was decorating, why not take a little time to just clean this area? And this is probably one of the places I do not enjoy cleaning the most, which I really enjoy cleaning my home, but the nitty gritty stove and like behind the fridge, that's, I really need some motivation <laughs> to clean there. So that's why I'm doing it today because it's a new season. In order to put out new fall decor, let's just deep clean. wiping down the front it's time to put out a really gorgeous thrifted tea towel just some fall-esque flowers on the front and then it is time to move to my accordion rack this I had a copper colander on there and I just put a broom and a rest, not a rusted but like a, a patinaed little copper cup some faux hydrangeas my aprons there because i use it all the time and i just really like the simplicity of what i have on this hanging rack stems 
which I actually did order from Hobby Lobby several years ago. Um, putting in my front porch just to add that cozy fall feel. And then I have that scarf that I put out there and some of my Crocs and this vintage chair that I found at a flea market for $8 a while ago. Then to my shelves in my kitchen. I think I've shared this before, but I have thought of getting rid of those shelves, or I had. I'm so glad I didn't. I enjoy decorating them too much. But just some simple touches, some simple changes to these shelves, and you know, just a little bit of color here and there, and that's truly all you need. Just keeping it very simple, and I really like using real things in my home if possible. Right now, things aren't available for fall yet, so I'm just using what I have. All right, even in the bathroom, I decided to decorate a little bit for fall now that I have some open shelving. These amber glasses were our little jars, ones I found in a recent fall thrift haul, and a little pumpkin, and then just putting, um, actually I changed my mind and put out all three. So let me know what you think if I should do all three, if I should use that white vintage pitcher and then put some like wheat stems in that. I'm not 100% sure what I wanna do on my open shelves. And then just changing out the corner a little bit with my hand soap bar that I have. So as you get to see, some of my decor did change a little bit and I just enjoy adding seasonal touches to my home on a budget. Hope you enjoyed coming along today as I cleaned and decorated my home for early fall.